Three years ago, I made a video, pretty popular, 20K views, about how to do website monitoring with Prometheus. And I think it's high time for an update because the underlying sort of tutorial has changed a lot too. So just for some background, um, when you monitor a network or set up a network, you probably, when you connect the, the cables, you probably want to look out for the blinky lights to make sure you have like a physical connection. And you, you, you know I recommend smoke ping. Smoke ping tells you about, you know, the layer three connectivity, whether you have good routes and things like this. And this website monitoring is like application level mon monitoring. And we're, what are we tr trying to check? We're trying to check our website is up, you know, if there's SSLs valid and, and uh, how quickly it responds to requests. So the new version of PingProm doesn't use systemd services files. It just uses a nice Docker Compose thing. And it also introduces Grafana. So let me just quickly get it going for you just so you have a good idea. You clone it like any good project. You just run make and it all should just start up. Hopefully you have a working Docker environment. Well, you didn't really need Grafana, but Grafana is so much nicer to, to, do, to do graphs and things like this. So Prometheus is up and running. You can check the targets. It's just example.com right now. And what else I'm looking for? Uh, yeah, you, you, you can graph things like probe, success here. I think there's not, the, it just started up, there's no metrics yet. Uh, come on. Okay, I think by default it does a probe every minute or something. And then yeah, it's up. So now we can probably plot this stuff here. Probe, see it all nicely, what it completes. Probe success, execute. And you can see the graph is very simple here. Now, check this out. Now I have localhost 3000, as you can see in the Docker Compose file, and there's this really awesome um, dashboard that I stole from somewhere, and you get these really nice stats. Let's put it down to last five minutes, and you can see that the, the web request took 150 milliseconds or something like this, and this example.com doesn't have SSL. And this solution is very scalable, I like to think. You can put in a lot of other websites. Let me just do that. So curl. Let's get all my repository home pages on here. Let's put some that's oh gosh. Okay, here we go. Lots of websites. Probably don't need to check things like YouTube and stuff like that. Don't check these stuff. Oh, let's check that one. Don't check this one. Don't check this one. Don't check this one. You don't check this one. Okay. So now I have this really like super long <laughs> targets file. So what's is, what is, does Prometheus pick, pick up on this? So it's already sort of going to probe each one now. And of course, uh, this should be able to handle all of them. So they're all coming up. And then, which ones are down? Okay, quite a few of them. But you can see the, the, the merit in this tool, a way of just checking your websites are up. And of course, Alert Manager, uh, if you configure your SMTP, can notify you when the site's down for like you know, an hour or something, I think is the default configuration. So yeah, do please look at PingProm. It's supposed to be a quick start for you to, to do website monitoring and get into Prometheus. If you have any tips and suggestions to make it better as a learning tool, please let me know. I think the um, yeah, the, the Grafana automatic provisioning of dashboard is pretty rad. That's just what I worked on today. And oh yeah, I didn't mention if I run if you run this little script fix homepage and you sort of launch a new session incognito localhost 3000, the default homepage of the Prometheus becomes this particular dashboard. How cool is that? Anyway, I hope you enjoy this. 
please like the video, please subscribe for more, and uh, thanks for watching. Comments below, guys. Thanks, thanks again. Bye now.